All right. Hey, welcome to Iron Gate Motor Condos. We're going to visit our friend Rob and Sandra today in their new unit. They already have another unit out here at Iron Gate, but they needed a little extra space and wanted to exercise a little more creativity. So, Tom, Rob and Sandra, how are you guys? Are you? Good, on. good. You know, I'm going to close that door because we've got new construction going on next door and we'll keep those guys a little more quiet. So, this is um, a unit in Iron Gate, and we originally started calling these things bus barns for what you can do downstairs. Rob and Sandra have a, a big motor home and a trailer that all fits downstairs. We'll show you guys that in just a minute. But I wanted to start up here because this is just a spectacular build out. And one of the things we wanted to talk with Rob and Sandra about is the build out process when you build out with Iron Gate with Jana and Kim and uh, Mr. Barnes, the architect. So take it, take it away. Well, so for us, it worked out really well. Uh, Sandra and I worked with Steve to design the floor plan. Uh, one of the key features was cutting the ceiling out, and we had to work with the engineering group to uh, make sure it was structurally sound. But it gave the room a much larger feel. And once we had everything approved, then Jana and Sandra coordinated the build out. Um, we've got a lot of features that we think are fun and unique. Um, because the unit is designed so that we can have a nice party here, we can host a lot of people, so we've got a full kitchen uh, set up so that we can uh, cook and prepare lots of meals for large groups. Um, we're still in the process, of some of the things you see, there's spaces for electronics that'll be on the wall that aren't finished yet, but we're gonna have a nice fireplace, large TV, so that again, we could have a nice party here. And then Sandra and Jana worked together on all the finishings. Um, Sandra picked out a great deal of the finishings, uh, Jana gave us a lot of input on how to make it flow. So this build out was very, very smooth. She helped coordinate all the timing and all the contractors. And actually, I don't know the total time, 90 to 120 days maybe? I, I feel we were very fortunate because uh, Jana um, helped us coordinate everything in a very, I feel, rapid manner. And with a lot of things going on in the world, we were able to have a lot of things happen because of their expertise here. And this isn't our first experience, and our first experience was excellent, so that's why we chose to go with Jana again and uh, Tom's team. So for us, uh, things like even, oh gosh, we didn't realize this island was gonna be so big. <laughs> and uh, when we went to install the grant, ideas such as, oh, what's the first thing? pieces which no one can ever see and it made it easy to bring it upstairs so things like this they help us think of when you're just going oh no what am I going to do now right uh, well and, and there's a lot of decisions that you need to make and a lot of coordination um, you know this this granite is so cool you call it a uh, leather texture mm -hmm. so it's a granite it's almost like you can't keep your hand up. really fun tactile uh, feeling to it and obviously granite so it's bulletproof so you know you can you don't need to worry about your friends with red wine or you know making a mess I mean it's just a bulletproof product so. although maybe here we do because this is the only place we decided to go white with everything <laughs> no, it, so all true. the white couches yeah, none, of, none, of, none of the red wine goes right. over there drinking wine you got to stay at the stay counter, in the kitchen right? but so yeah it's been a lot of fun and we think we've created some unique features um, obviously with Jana and Tom's help by especially like these these recesses in the ceiling. I mean, that took a lot of time and energy um, on you know your team's behalf. And but it's it's so cool. You it know, when you, when you see it, the what that adds to the the loftiness of the space is just spectacular. So I mean, it, not only do you you have the volume, which helps out hugely, because this is a big room, and you know, when big rooms have lower ceilings, all of a sudden you feel like you're in a cave. Mm -hmm. that, that That's the antithesis going on here. I mean, not only do you have that great structure that's almost art-like up there, sculptural, but you have all the room, all right. you know, so you've got a really nice volume going on. Well, and I think cool. another important point is these are so well-built, so well-insulated. There's construction going on right on the other side of the wall here, and we don't hear it. Yep. Even At all. down to the insulation, handling everything when the ceiling was cut out, and then the details that we chose a, a, a car color, so that's actually an automobile color. Cool. We made it part of the experience here and part of the architecture, as Tom mentioned. Yeah, Very so cool. let's keep walking. Let's buzz around and go through. So this is going to be a small kitchenette just to sit here and have a little breakfast. 
Um, we've actually built this out, so just in case we're having too much fun some evening, right. we can crash here for a night. Um, so we, we built out a, a bedroom and a, and a bathroom as well, so that, again, we could uh, spend an evening or perhaps a weekend here before we travel for work. So a lot of space, again, very, very quiet and uh, very livable, very comfortable. And again, for us, if I come back from the races on a long weekend and I just don't feel like going home, I can crash here for a night well, and go to work. What a great, peaceful place. Yeah. To Thank us. you. We were yeah. thinking Murphy bed, which was our initial plan, and then things suddenly took a 180 degree turn. And yeah, that's, that is into, beautiful. You know, I had to have the 600 pound bed frame. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> it, uh, the place was already reinforced, so we, we knew we were in good, sh good shape here. That is Very spectacular. Cool. Yeah, yeah buzz awesome. around. Yeah. yeah, we'll follow you soon. Okay, absolutely. So, choices with, with the framework that I was asking and then helped me identify what I wanted. So we wanted to make this look both rustic and modern, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, and run, the, very cool. That's what you see when you see it. That mirror is super cool. Yeah, Thank you. Cool. Yeah, and it's dimmable. Yes. You can change the experience. Here we go. We can change the yes. whole experience. Love nice. this mirror. Wow. Yeah, so Where do you get the cabinets? These are Heinz. Really? Mm -hmm. I was around to kind of see how this all connects back to the bedroom. Yeah, I'm going to let you take yeah, that. Right. We yeah, we also, wanted access for people and then access just for us. Go ahead and follow Grant Sanders. Sure. Got the microphone. Great shower. Yeah, great we great had a nice uh, shower built for yeah, us. Nice. Opted for some additional storage in that room. Awesome. Very mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. Very cool pieces, yeah, too. Very happy. It's a very big book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just some rustic. Yeah, awesome. Things from our history. It all just brought so well together, I feel like. Yeah, it looks great. You guys want to see the uh, huge bus bar? Yeah, let's yeah. go downstairs. I might be the first one to. I didn't know these existed. I love this. The drawer microwave? <laughs> I, I I've never seen one, so that so that's my that's my first experience. Very cool. Oh, they don't need to. Really? I'm so happy with this. I've already popped popcorn. Nice. Yes. That is super cool. That's like beam me up. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, very cool upstairs space here, very livable and fun, but this is what starts everything, right? The storage for vehicles and cars and motorhomes. This unit is about 27 or 27 and a half wide and 68 feet long, so you can get a large motorhome in here and the trailer. So check this thing out. And just a little bit of scale, you know. Huge. Yeah. Huge, yeah. 40 feet. Awesome. And, and about uh, 16 feet when open like it is. So we're going to have awesome. two doors on this unit as well. Yeah, and you got a car tucked away in there too. Yes. And another bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Charger in for an electric vehicle. We have another bathroom tucked in the back. We have a mechanical room hidden upstairs, so hot water heater and mechanicals are up there. Nice, so it's nice and clean. Yep, tried to keep all the space as functional as possible. Nice. And you know, this is a 21 foot trailer. Wanted nice. this to be bright down here in the ocean blue, flooring. Oh yeah, love the floor. Definitely. You know, it, it almost looks like you're walking on water. Yeah, it really does. It feels like it when it's wet. <laughs> the frozen water. Yes. Let's get a shot. For yeah, I want to come check out these cabinets too. But look at the room that you have here. I mean, it's really, you've got enough room for yeah, bikes or car or whatever. It goes all the way so back under those stairs. So Steve Barnes, the architect, suggested because I have a bunch of retired race bikes. So we're actually going to be um, placing my retired race bikes up, up on, on top of this, yeah, take, that's all this uh, mezzanine that. here. So that reinforced, that's a shelf. Yeah, and rated, the race bikes will be going up there. Ready to cool. hold three race bikes. Nice. Well, that's great garage art. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. Back, we're gonna have it backlit and everything. Nice. So Dane, Dane suggested backlighting it, which I absolutely. Love. So we've got yeah. switches; it'll all be backlit. And then this will be the work area for taking care of the, the RV and the trailer. It's just not finished yet; it's in process. That's looking good. Considering how fast this is gone, we've got very little to go now. Yeah. No, yeah. Seriously. No, you're almost there. Okay. There we go. Thanks for. So this door is 14 by 14, right? Uh, yes, because I, I need 13, I need 13, six. To clear, so to you're, clear. you're I, just I, clearing. And I actually, I cleared the garage door open and everything, even when it's uh, leveled. So right now it is leveled and I still clear all the equipment. Good, perfect. And I absolutely love the 50 amp service Good. and the drains. Yes. So it's, it's a great experience. It's Good. huge. Awesome. We've enjoyed it. Good. Yeah, that service over there, Brad, is that's where the RV plugs in, and then there's a drain and back um, to service the RV also. So, yeah, very handy to have that. We wash the rig inside. Nice. Everything. Nice. Perfect. Well, that's awesome. Beautiful night here at Iron Gate. Robin Sanders, thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. For thank you. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. You're great. welcome. Thank you. All right. So. Another fantastic garage tour here at Iron Gate Motor Condos on a beautiful night here in September. More to come. We look forward to doing more of these for you in the future. Until then, may there always be fuel in your tank.